Another tall tale about me and my friend Davy on the river. After we won our race with Big Mike Finch, the king of the river, Davy took quite a shine to that cussed, loud-mouth old keel boatman, and we started back up the river on Mike's boat. One day, right after we turned into the Ohio from the Mississippi and was getting close to a place called Cave In Rock, Mike's crew was pulling the keel boat along, and Mike was singing to him. Listen to the thunder, hear the winds roar, hurricanes are coming, board up the door, load up the cannons, all out the law, where's this calamity that folks ever saw, girls running high, rip and shiver, I'm my king, king of the river. Uh, I won't care if you are king of the river, Mike. I'm quitting your crew. What in thunder's eating you, Jocko? Why, you're the best man I got. What's the matter, Mike? Oh, Jocko's got some kind of a grouch, Davy. Claims he's quitting. Mutiny, eh? Kind of a long ways ashore for a man that can't swim, Jocko. I'm plumb fed up pushing this boat up river whilst Crock and Russell just sit around doing nothing. And the boat's twice as heavy as it ought to be with all them sacks of worthless rock they had a load aboard. That ain't rock. It's gold. Leastwise, that's what we're claiming it is every time we land at a town. It's a pirate bait, Jocko. Sure. Can't fight pirates till we catch them, can we? Nah, pirates ain't dumb enough to bite on that kind of bait. Well, the further we went up the river, the more it began to look like Jocko was right. We stopped at every town and we boasted about the gold we was hauling, but nobody showed any interest. Until one night... A little peddler came down to the landing as we was shoving off. He was toting a banjo and he claimed he wanted a ride. Uh, my name is Colonel Plug, gentlemen. I wouldn't be taking up much room and I sing a tolerable song. Be glad to give you a little entertainment from a passage like this. The river is long and the moon is high. I want a gal before I die. A pretty little gal with a turned up nose and dancing music in a twinkling toes. Oh, her figure is round and her smile is sweet. Her hair is like shiny, shiny, shiny wings. Well, I didn't think much of Colonel Plug singing, but Davy and Mike both allowed they'd be glad to have him, and we started up the river. Colonel Plug did do a lot of rummaging around below, and I didn't trust him none. Davy, yeah. we're getting almost to where them pirates are supposed to be at. I don't trust that singing peddler. It's so dark that if he was to get a signal off to them pirates, they could jump us before we seen them coming. I know, Georgie. Well, why'd you let him come aboard first? Because he's the only one along the whole river who took our bait about the gold supposed to be in them sticks down below. I'm just hoping he does signal them pipes so that we can get out of them and have this thing over with. Shh, here he comes now. Hey, a beautiful night, ain't it? Well, it's mighty quiet in the And dark. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel it's like a little song? I reckon I'd do this first rate. There was a widow in New Madrid, smoking a pipe and chewing a quid. When she puckered her lips, I run for my life, but she run me down and now she's my wife. Oh, her lips is red and her eyes is bold. Her hair's like yellow, yellow, yellow gold. The color of yellow, yellow, yellow gold. Yaller go. That's a signal. Grab him, Georgie. No, you don't, you slippery varmint. They're in the hole with you. What's going on here? We better get back to Tiller, Mike. Looks like our passenger's one of the pirates, and he signaled the rest. Reckon we're going to have company directly. A colonel? A pirate? 
Why, the ornery little skunk. And he's hung so pretty, too. Hey, Mike! Get back there! By the whole form of canoes coming at us! And now we're gonna get us some fighting at last! Is that you, Georgie? Yep. That Colonel Flood took care of? Tight up pattern of stack down below. Good. I'm the old Betsy. Here comes the rest of them. Hey, Mike! We better it down! Or so! Overboard! Get Over here, Mike. Right? The ringleaders is escaping the shore. Well, me and George will take care of them. You and your boys mind the rest of them here. Go ahead. Me and the boys is having a right good fun. Come on, Georgie. Looks like them three varmints is heading for that cave. Right with you, Davy. He and Davy splashed ashore. Our powder was wet. We didn't have time to reload, so we each got us a good club as we plumb the bank. That there cave was a spooky place, and the minute we stepped inside of it, my hair started standing on end. Davey. Yeah? Hadn't we got away from Mike and the boys? This is that, sure. Look, I'm going to scrunch. They're not trying to blow up the entrance to the treasure room. Hark! Oh! Whack him and pass him on to me, Davey. One down, George. You ready for the next? Knock the next one a little stick real before you pass them along, Davy. Oh. This was business, Davy and me, Lord, real good. By the time Mike got ashore and into the cave, there wasn't no more pirates left for him to tangle with. Oh, it just ain't sporting, Davy. You could have saved me one of their heads to bash in. Well, you had your share on the river. These was for me and Davy. Well, anyway, between the three of us, there ain't no more river pirates to worry, folks. 